When you see meat hanging in a window, you must stop. Hey guys, I'm Ross and Beck is right behind the camera. Today we're in Prague and we're gonna take you around the streets and show you our favorite Czech foods. Now if you're into travel and foodie videos, be sure to hit subscribe. And guys, we have you. If you wanna know where we're going today, descriptions are down below. Why don't you come out? So one of the most traditional Czech foods are these open sandwiches and well we'll put the name on the screen because I have no idea how to say it but the really cool thing is when you look at them they're just all these different assortments and we asked them what's the best one and they kind of said just try a mixture just try a blend of all of them so that's what we think you should do let's try it let's try this Mmm, oh wow. So they all have different toppings, sandwich meats, creams, um, vegetables, eggs, that sort of stuff. So let's try this eggy mess, I'm gonna call it. Let's try it. Oh, that is like the best egg salad you will ever eat on a really soft piece of bread. I'm saving some for back. <laughs> that looks like I'm saving some of my face as well. Medium rare roast beef with like a horseradish on there. Let's give this a crack. I'm getting messy eating these, but that is my favorite. That's such a beautiful combination. Thanks. Smoked salmon and some sort of interesting bit on the outside. I love smoked salmon, so that one's just really simple if you like smoked salmon. Try them all. Pick like five or six of these, eat them for lunch. Everyday Czech food. I think the key to eating these is one hand on the sandwich and one hand for catching everything before. <laughs> A catching hand. Ah, uh, maybe that's where I was going wrong. <laughs> must stop. Nasi Maso is a butcher, but they cook a lot of the meat here. It's so fresh. We're really pumped. We've come in, had a chat to them, and they've told us the three most traditional things that you need to eat here. Now, I'm pretty pumped because the last time I had tartare was in France, and I haven't had it here, but they assure me it's really good. So let's tuck in. Let's get some on our knife. Now have this little bit of garlic that you just rub over the bread. It adds so much flavor. Look at that, a nice generous spread. Mm. That is amazing. Honestly, that is so good. It has. I'm thinking a couple little spices in there, some onion really finely chopped, and the freshest beef that you could imagine. It's such a unique flavor compared to the French tartare. Mm. Oh my God. I seriously love this. I'm not gonna share any with you back. Next thing is meatloaf. Need to come and get some of this. That was the first thing they said that I should get here. 
is meatloaf. So it comes with a bit of bread. I have had so much bread already today. Mustard. Hey, use my fingers. You need a pickle as well. Let's see if this fits in my gob. It's pretty close. Mm. That meatloaf was made for my mouth. Amazing. So many different herbs in there. That is like someone's grandma just cooked you a nice meatloaf on a Sunday night. And finally, hamburger. Now quality mince, quality everything here. They're backing themselves in so much, they leave it kind of medium rare. It's a real tribute to the meat. Normally a hamburger you have the sauces, the cheeses and all the other things taking over. It's the meat. Little subtle bit of mustard and pickle in there. This is such a unique experience to come and try three of the best Czech dishes I think you can find. Really traditional stuff here. the Kaleno. Well, you're gonna have to check out a video we released a couple of weeks ago, which is our tribute to pork. Yummy! <laughs> From the day we got here in Prague, we noticed there was a real obsession with duck. So we were intrigued and we just hunted around the city until we found this place that does a quarter duck. They pack it full of potato dumplings that are unbelievable. And then it has a gravy that has this sauerkraut throughout it. So it's quite acidic on the outside. It's just the perfect dish. Let's taste. I'll give you some of this sauerkraut. Oh, that is just so home cooking right there. This duck, it's really meaty. There's so much meat on this. Mmm. Slow roasted. And it's such a quirky thing having potato dumplings on the inside. Let me see if I can get some out. There, I've just put a bit of sauerkraut on there. Potato dumplings. This really does fill you up. Mm. It just excites me, so simple. I think, Beck, 129? Yeah. 129 Czech crowns, insane value. Like, we've come here a few times just for a really simple duck dinner. Awesome. Let me get my hands dirty. Oh. The skin, the skin is really well seasoned. I like duck skin. I know it's not for everyone, but if you can have a duck dish, come here. It's the tiniest bit out of the city center, but you can jump on these tram numbers and get here like 10, 15 minutes. Uh, well worth it. The pints of beer are so much cheaper here too. Mm. chimney cake in Budapest but the way to do it here in Prague is definitely a bit more over the top. So here at Good Food they do them a little bit more gourmet. There are different flavours and all the different toppings going on. It's such a hot day this is really starting to melt but what we have here is the double chocolate. So it's a nut covered cone with a dark chocolate ice cream, cherries and brownies. So what more could you want? Let's give this a try before it melts all over me. Oh. Wow. Oh, I'm about to lose a cherry. 
Oh my gosh. Sour cherry on there is fantastic. And if you know me, I'm obsessed with everything sour cherry at the moment. So this is right up my alley. Wow. Oh my gosh. All my ice cream dreams have come true. We've stopped filming and we're just so cold, but there's a brownie at the bottom. Bonus. Bonus.